Hey, it's Keith from Outlaw Speed Shop, and I want to thank you for tuning in. As usual, if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe and click the bell to get notified anytime I post a new video. All right, so I have a Hot Wheels Volkswagen Rat Rod, and I found some wheels from a big time muscle and also a hot wheels for the front they're very similar they're not exact um, they look pretty close so i went ahead and figured i'd go with it i have the usual drilling tapping filing part here where i kind of just fast forward through a little bit of it um, plastic base very easy to take apart um, surprisingly enough, I was a little worried that the posts on this were going to be a little too short uh, just because of the angle of the dangle when it came to the front and rear ends. Uh, but they're actually really nice and long, easy to tap. Um, a clear windshield, which I managed to completely mess up. <laughs> um, wheels pop right out with, uh, if you just pry underneath with a pick, they just pop very easily. Usually somewhere across the room, I got lucky this time and they went fairly close. So the axle width. Uh, length depends on how you want to look at it um, of the replacement wheels are actually identical so it worked out really well uh, they just snap right back in the rear wheels uh, being from a big time muscle have a larger diameter for the axle um, so that takes a little bit of finagling I had to pry the tabs I end up grooving it out a little bit later I'll show you um, as well as filing it just to get the um, the recess where the axles sit just a little bit deeper and a little bit wider to fit the I want to say the axles are maybe twice the size so um, you always got to fit a little bit and then sometimes you have to grind away at the interior if the interior is used to um, wedge the wheels in between the base and the interior so pretty much that's kind of where I'm at it rolls really nice um, already looks good I could probably left it alone um, so I've got some um, the axle here, I got a trim. I'm using stem wire for floral arrangements. It's really nice stuff. Uh, 16 gauge works perfectly. Um, it's see right there, it's stem wire. Um, I like, I use it all the time. I think it's, it's really good for these bigger diameter axles. So after I'm done putting the wheels on, I need to grind the roof rack, which I do not have the tools at the house. So I need to go take a ride to work and do it there. <laughs> home I can start doing a little bit of the finish work some filing sanding um, I didn't want to go too far this was kind of hard to do as far as grinding without going too far um, and caving in the roof a little bit so to keep the the concave or convex I'm not sure which one it is um, the the shape of the roof I wanted to make sure I didn't go down too far I went pretty pretty close I didn't really need to do much filing um, so once I'm happy with that I dump it in my bucket o citrus strip add some fresh stuff in there let it sit for half an hour or so and then i can run it under some hot soapy water and take the paint off fairly easily um, this stuff again i don't really have too many issues so i wanted to experiment um, i bought some tamia ps31 smoke paint and i wanted to tint the windows i've been trying to tint windows for a while and i haven't had much success and today is absolutely no different um, I followed the instructions to a T. Um, hopefully, maybe somebody in the comments can that's used this can give me some tips. Uh, didn't come out very good. I had to use it, but as soon as I find a new one, um, so you, right now you're looking at a, a Stinger exhaust on Volkswagens, and I've always liked these. I thought they looked pretty cool. So I'm kind of fabricating my own to make sure that, uh, that well, at least the best I can to to make it look somewhat like a stinger exhaust um, but anyways back to the smoke if you guys um, have any tips on how to apply that without it really looking like crap let me know in the comments below so because I'm doing a stinger exhaust I'm gonna cut off the um, two tailpipes that they had sticking out of the back of the engine which is attached to the interior and then file those clean um, make sure you guys stay tuned to the end because I do um, I've been doing a preview of what's coming up in the next couple weeks so 
Um, I got that towards the end of the video. So anyways, I want to drill into the base a little bit just to kind of be able to stick the Stinger exhaust into that. And I'm using brass rod. I'm using two different sizes. One fits over the other perfectly. I'm going to trim it down so it's not so obscenely long. Um, there was some stuff that I needed to get off with the wire wheel on my Dremel tool. Um, I was a little premature on taking this out, but um, normally I don't have a problem. And really, this was just some flakes. It came right out, no problem. Um, really like Volkswagens. I grew up on Volkswagens. My dad was into Volkswagens and dune buggies and then, uh, coincidentally, vans and then hot rods and muscle cars. So I've always been surrounded by by cars my entire life and um, my first memories are of a Volkswagen believe it or not when it came to the cars so uh, I just want to get some some of the rough edges on this casting even though it's brand new uh, most of these castings have some issues so a um, little bit of filing a little bit of sanding um, mainly on the nose uh, with the hood uh, peaks same thing on the rear so um, there was a few spots on the roof I wanted to tack tackle with this glazing putty if you've seen any of my videos I Pretty much just kind of put it on <coughs> excuse me and then sponge it right off with my finger so that it sits inside the uh, little nooks and crannies i'm not too concerned about the roof because i am going to be putting a decal on there uh, but i just want to make it as smooth as i can wipe it down with some mineral spirits um, after i you know do all the other prep work that's needed which is just you know steel wool and warm soapy water blah 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 so uh, i got some tamia fine gray primer I've had left over um, ever since I switched to the Stino Res um, I just I need to use it and this was a good opportunity and I was kind of lazy and I didn't feel like cleaning my gun so um, just apply this very from very far away it's it goes on perfectly it's really nice um, I prime the interior as well so I <laughs> I bought some detail yellow Createx paint and I didn't realize it was yellow it looked light brown <laughs> when I bought it and um, I didn't read the label and I got home and it said yellow on it I got a little nervous it is the color I was after but it, it, it did kind of scare the crap out of me because I thought it was gonna be a lot more yellowy um, and after last week's Vega debacle with yellow paint I was a little nervous um, so I put this stuff on and I wanted to try something a little bit dif different a lot of times in the old old days on the Volkswagens with the recesses in the hood and then on the uh, the deck lid because of the way it's shaped and designed they would make it a little darker almost like a um, I wouldn't say a fade but almost uh, just so that it would look a little bit darker in the recesses than on the rest of the body almost like a shading but with paint so uh, I tried putting this on like really 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 heavy because it was such a it was a nice paint it was very thin and I wanted it to pull up into the, um, the hood in the deck lid and it actually worked really well I'm very very surprised um, usually I don't have to try to screw things up <laughs> um, and then I tried this cosmic sparkle on there just to give it a little depth um, you'll never see it on camera this stuff is so fine as far as a sparkle you can see a little bit there I tried to put it in slow motion but it's my GoPro so it's a little blurry as opposed to my Canon but um, I printed up some decal sheets um, these are clear decals um, I did a bunch of different sizes because I wasn't sure what I needed I'm gonna put the iron cross on the roof and I'm gonna put the speed shop logos on the side and I just kind of having some fun with this here you can almost see the recess um, the shading I was talking about how it came out so I'm actually really you know, that's intentional so <laughs> for anybody bust my balls about it it, it was intentional uh, I probably could have done a little bit better on it but these are the testers decals they came out okay um, I'm still experimenting with the best way to print and the, my printer kind of sucks so um, I'm gonna have to work on that and then it's detail time um, this is a really quick build um, I've got some bigger projects coming so I wasn't um, trying to go crazy on this I'm also uh, going to put some some chrome on the engine because I wanted to add a little bit of detail and have things stick out a little bit make it make it pop um, there's not a lot on this vehicle to to make pop so any chance you can um, try to do that and make the make the small details stand out a little bit more so as I said I've been trying to do some previews of what's coming up in the weeks coming and there's my preview sign <laughs> first off is a fantastic challenge 
going June 1st, which is next Saturday. Deep Junk Garage, Hodges Hot Wheels, and Diecast Resurrection, myself. We're all building a 70s van. And then I'm working on another 62 pickup. This one I'm going to try to make a little bit wilder. So anyways, this is what I started with. And I'm going to show you the big reveal here in a minute. Uh, I want to take a few seconds to thank everybody for subscribing and for commenting and liking and uh, being part of this with me on this journey. So I appreciate it, and I'll catch you on the next one.